Hello students good morning in today's session we are here to learn reasoning and know your aptitude unit 4 geometry in our last class we have learned about geometry and its properties in this class we are going to see few exercises from page number 40 Let's see the first sum. An angle whose measure is greater than 90 degree but less than 180 degree is called an a dash. Students you have learned about angles. Angles which are below 90 degree is called acute angle. Angle which are above 90 degree is called obtuse angle. angle which is equal to 90 degree is called right angle angle which is 180 degree is called straight angle but here the question what it is asked is an angle whose measure is greater than 90 degree but less than 180 degree so the angle which is greater than 90 degree is obtuse angle and this obtuse angle is less than 180 degree so the answer will be obtuse angle now let's see the eighth sum find the unknown angle x in the quadrilateral given here here quadrilateral picture is given with all the four angles and one unknown angle x is there and we are asked to find that unknown angle students we know that the sum of all the four angles in the quadrilateral is equal to 360 degree so now what we have to do is already three angles are given so we have to count all the three angles what is given here from that answer we have to subtract the three angles from 360 degree so that we will get the unknown angle x now let's start adding the angles given here 110 degree 110 plus 80 we will get 190 190 plus 60 we will get 250 so now what we have to do is we have to subtract this 250 from 360 because the sum of quadrilateral the sum of angles of quadrilateral is equal to 360 degree so the sum of the three angles is 250 degree now we have to subtract this 250 degree from 360 degree so we will get the answer 110 degree so the unknown angle x is 110 degree now you can sum all the angles here totally you will get 360 degree now let's see the 13th sum what is the area of the rectangular field whose length is 100 meter and breadth is 76 meter let me read the question once again what is the area of the rectangular field whose length is 100 meter and breadth is 76 meter and the options given here are a 352 meter square b 7600 meter square c 176 meter square and d 4500 meter square now let us consider a rectangular field now think this as a rectangular field whose length is 100 meter
length is 100 meter and breadth is 76 meter we are asked to find the area of this rectangular field we have learnt the formula area of rectangle is equal to length into breadth so now what we have to do is we have to multiply the given length with the given breadth so that is equal to length is 100 meter and breadth is 76 meter area of rectangle formula is length into breadth so 100 into 76 so that we will get the answer 7600 meter square so the area of the rectangular field is 7600 meter square so the right answer is 7600 meter square now let's see the 19th sum find the side of a square whose perimeter is 36 cm find the side of a square whose perimeter is 36 cm the options given here are a 5 cm b 8 cm c 7 cm and d 9 cm let's consider a square here we are asked to find the side of the square whose perimeter is 36 cm so the perimeter is given as 36 cm and we are asked to find the side so now we have to apply the perimeter of square formula perimeter of square is equal to 4 into side let's apply the perimeter 36 given here in this formula therefore perimeter of square is 36 36 is equal to 4 into side now we are asked to find the side of the square so now what we have to do is this 4 will come to this side as it is in multiplication in the left hand side when it is coming to the right hand side it will become a division so 36 divided by 4 we will get the answer that is we will find the side of the square so the answer will be 9 cm so the side of the square will be 9 cm students hope you are clear with today's session kindly do the remaining sums from page number 40 41 42 and 43 have a good day thank you